light what is light if i'm going to define light i'm going to say light is a form of radiant energy which is visible to us but how exactly light travels now years ago newton postulated a theory called as newton's corpuscular theory in that theory he said that light travels in the form of tiny little particles and he named these particles as corpuscles but later on a scientist again postulated a theory and his name was huygen according to huygen's wave theory of light huygen said that light doesn't travel in the form of particles but light travels in the form of waves and later on he said light travels in the form of electromagnetic wave what is electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave is a wave which is formed by the combination of magnetic field and electric field and magnetic field and electric field they travel perpendicular to each other means electromagnetic waves or light waves are transverse in nature means wave travel perpendicular to each other in a space or in a medium now if it is said that light travels perpendicular to each other and light travels in the form of waves then if i am going to consider two light waves that is if one light wave is coming and the second light wave is coming wave we are talking about wave wave kaise jayega upar niche upar niche abhi ye do wave aapke sath mein interfere hoga then it is possible that the positive part it is called as crest and the negative part it is called as trough it is possible that crest of one wave can coincide or can get superimposed on the crest of another wave also trough of one wave can get superimposed over the trough of another wave also it is possible that crest of one wave will get superimposed over the trough of another wave or else the trough of first wave will get superimposed over the crest of the second wave means there are four possibilities crest crest trough trough crest trough trough crest okay now on these four possibilities we say we get two types of interference one is a constructive interference and second one is a destructive interference now after that a scientist named as young he performed an experiment and the name of his experiment was young's double slit experiment in his experiment he explained us how exactly constructive and destructive interference takes place he concluded that constructive interference results into bright point and destructive interference results into dark point now we are not going to perform young's double slit experiment with the help of light but we are going to understand young's double slit experiment with the help of waves that is our water wave so let us begin with our experiment now what i am going to do is with the help of these balls i am going to produce waves in water so as you can see if i am going to tap these balls on water waves will be produced now what are these waves these waves are crest trough crest trough with the help of two balls i am creating two waves you can see at some point the waves are of minimum amplitude and at some point they are of maximum amplitude means whenever the crest meets with crest it results into constructive interference and trough meets with trough it again results into constructive interference when two different like crest meets with trough or trough meets with crest it results into destructive interference the same thing is explained by young's double slit experiment so just have a look <laughs> 